buying a wireless speaker, you always have to make choices. Do you want the best audio quality or does your speaker need to be portable or waterproof? Maybe you need massive battery life. The JBL Charge 5 is designed to be your all-in-one solution, but can it really check all those boxes? And what happened when I actually dropped it in the drink? <laughs> I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and Tech Gadgets International, and I recently got the JBL Charge 5 here to test and review. I'm gonna show you each of the features of this speaker that make it stand out. We'll listen to the sound quality, and I'll tell you if I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please mash that like button and hit me with a sub, since both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's take a peek under the hood here. Aside from the JBL Charge 5 unit itself, unboxing the package will score you a basic USB-A to USB-C cable, just in case you don't have enough of those already, and a simple quick start guide to get you going. If you used a JBL speaker in the past, you'll notice all the familiar design elements that make the Charge series so iconic, but the only real design change here is the larger JBL logo planted on the front with rubberized grills on the bottom to add stability. JBL didn't mess around with the top of the speaker where you can find all the controls including play pause volume and more to get it set up just power on the device and long mm -hmm. press the bluetooth button if it doesn't already come on the first time you pair it and finish off the pairing process on your mobile device to get connected i was connected and ready to rock in seconds the JBL Charge 5 also has another button with an infinity symbol, and this one is used for the Party Boost feature. Party Boost mode allows up to 100 other JBL speakers with the Party Boost feature to share the same audio source, setting up what I guess would be the world's biggest multi-room speaker arrangement that doesn't require a Wi-Fi router. If anyone out there has actually linked up 100 of these speakers and tried it, send me the video because I can't see that many practical apps applications for this. Since, of course, I did only have this one JBL speaker here, I obviously did not try out this feature. You probably won't. You think you're cooler than me. You got I have reviewed more than a few JBL speakers, and I've always been impressed with the sound quality. Depending on the size and model you choose, some will have more bass or volume or not. With the Charge 5, the sound quality is strong and it gets good and loud. The overall soundscape is pretty well balanced with a small lean towards the high end, but overall it is a good sounding speaker that's going to satisfy most listeners' ears. JBL did decide to remove the auxiliary jack found in a previous model. What's left is a single USB-C port for charging the speaker and a full-size USB port tucked under that cover for using this as a power bank to charge other devices. If there's any consolation prize here, it would be the slightly improved housing over the previous model, which is enough to net the JBL Charge 5 a waterproof, dustproof IP67 rating. To test the speaker out, I dropped it in the pool while on vacation. I found that it very conveniently floats, and when I pulled it out of the water, it was still playing, and all it needed was a shake to release the water, and it was back to normal. The 5,000 milliamp hour battery in the JBL Charge 5 here allows the speaker to play music for about 20 hours straight at lower volume. Higher volumes still keep the battery estimates at a healthy double digit level, though your mileage may vary. Once you empty the JBL Charge 5's battery, you should be able to recharge it back to full health in about four hours. Overall, the JBL Charge 5 is a speaker that balances price, features, battery life, and portability quite well. It sounds good, it's rugged, it's waterproof, and it checks all the boxes for a portable party or outdoor speaker. It doesn't, however, make the JBL Charge 4 feel dated, so if you have the Charge 4, there's probably little incentive to have to upgrade. On the downside, the recharge time for this speaker is a bit long, and some shoppers might feel like the speaker is either too small or too big for their purposes, and if that's the case, check out the tiny JBL Go 3, the more medium-sized JBL Flip, or the bigger JBL Boombox. But don't take my word for it, let's see if it passes the puppy test. Will Rainy choose the JBL Charge 5, or a Rainy, bowl of kibble? Which would you like? the JBL Charge 5 or some kibble. Which 
one do you want? Okay, okay, which one? You're not even gonna look at the speaker? That's some pretty high quality kibble. JBL Charge 5 sells for about 179 US or 239 Canadian and you can get it as I did from Amazon. If speakers are your game, check out my review of the JBL Flip or consider the more audio quality focused Bose Revolve series right now.